guys, you see in this life, eh, what goes around comes around. And the same cup that you used to measure for other people, <laughs> that is the same cup that this nature will use to measure for you. You know, there was a time we heard that when Naomi was pregnant, and all of a sudden, there was a story about it, uh, how she lost the pregnancy. And the CKBAC did not take it serious, but at some point, something came up. And when they were talking about the cause of the loss of the pregnancy, uh, a, a two face, uh, all of the two face anti gospel, her name was involved. It was linked to her, even though she was denying it. And the greatest uh, mistake KBAC made at the beginning was to trust her. You know, at some point, uh, it's like I even prefer uh, Mariam to this lady because Mariam will come, come out to show you who she is. She is not pretending. If she likes something, she will tell you she likes it. If she did not like it, she will tell you that, mm -mm. and you know that she is your enemy. You know how to go about her type. But you see this one that will come and make you believe that uh, she is a friend to you, whereas she is worse than your enemy. She is not trustworthy at all. And with all the news flying around right now, how uh, she has been biting KBC and uh, blowing her, blowing him, making KBC think that... Uh, he, she is a support of her reunion with, uh, with Naomi. At first, KBS trusted her so much. But when all of this uh, uh, her uh, uh, involvement in one or two things against Queen Naomi started coming up, they said KBS no, they like her at all again. You know, the last time she, she switched her name to go and attend the occasion that Queen Naomi is supposed to attend, they said KBS did not take it lightly with her. You know, one thing about her is that she likes to pretend so much. And that is one thing that KBC hates so much right now. So when she come up with this idea that uh, they said the way KBC embarrassed her and told her to her face in front of everyone that, she is, that he is not responsible for her pregnancy, she was embarrassed. She was such embarrassed that she started crying. And they said it happened in the, front of, in the presence of a lot of people. She was like, maybe she wants to come and uh, break the news so that maybe everyone will say, hey, she's, she's pregnant though, and maybe it will affect Quenomi's return. Because if you ask me, I will say that this is a strategy. You know, she has tried everything, every of her plans, and none of them is working. Maybe she wants to come up with this uh, pregnancy stuff right now so that it will jeopardize Quenomi's return. That, they say she came to KBS and kneeled down as, as usual. After greeting Kabyesi, she, she told Kabyesi that uh, Kabyesi, I have good news for you. That this one is indeed a very good news, oh, and I know you would like it. Kabyesi was like, what is it? Say it, please, I'm busy, this and that. They said, she told Kabyesi, I am expecting a baby for you. And Kabyesi said, no, it, can, it cannot be for me. It cannot be for me. So don't just push it to me. Oh. And I don't know if you guys have uh, watched this the other video they said, only of his first sisters came after her, telling her that they are not going to keep quiet over what they hear. Hmm? Over what they hear, that they are not going to keep quiet because it will be an abomination if it is true. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? <laughs> they are not for stand information. And before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. My God will bless you. So, according to the information there, no, they said KBSC sisters, they came to uh, report to KBSC that there is something that they are hearing about this your precious wife, this your gospel wife, this your over pretendious wife, that for the period of one week now, that her ex-husband has been in her house, the same house that KBSC bought for her in uh, in the kingdom where she kept her children and her mother they said the ex-husband will i even call her ex? will i even call him ex hmm? because some of the information we are hearing is trying to prove us wrong by calling them ex because even the there was a time we heard that if a priest also told kbc allegedly oh, that the reason why he is having all this bad goes with these women is that most of them that their bride price have not been returned hey, you know and this one left three old, three months old baby to come and um, marry KBSC. When did they return the bride price? Is it when he when he uh, she was carrying the baby, or the moment she gave birth to the baby? 
Abi when she was breastfeeding the baby, that is if at all she have time to breastfeed the baby. Because if a woman should leave three months old baby, it simply means that there was no breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. So, they said the husband has been sleeping in the same building. And they said for the period of that one week, she had been in that house. You know, only to come now to take KVSC. KVSC, I'm expecting a baby for you. And they say KVSC shut her up immediately, telling her that it cannot be for me. Oh, take your pregnancy to the. Hey! <laughs> voila! Voila, my people! See, if this information is true, eh, I wonder what these women are still doing in the palace. Because it simply means that they don't get shame. How can a woman tell her husband that I'm expecting a baby? And they, they say the husband will tell you. Right in front of you and everyone looking that I cannot be the father. Eh? It simply means that you know they knock you now. I be they use a uh, nylon. <laughs> this just they get a CB, oh, my people, they get a CB because ah now wow. Then a lot of people are saying that she might not be pregnant though, but maybe she wants to use this tactics. So that when Quinomi hears it, Quinomi will say, imagine, look at the person that is planning, that I'm planning to go back to, is pregnant in another person, you know? So, uh, <laughs> anyways, the second BSC rejected immediately, sending it back to the sender, back to sender. <laughs> All this distraction strategy, they are not going to work, oh. they are not going to work. What will be, will be. And the Quinomi and the Oni of Ife, they will be, nothing will ever stop them. Nothing. I mean, nothing. So if they like, let them go and uh, 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 carry pregnancy from their ex husband or from their whatever and come and keep it on top of KBSC's head. KBSC don't they do a dodge em. I dodge em. Anything, I dodge em. This time around, KBSC they dodge anyhow, anyhow. Before they will bring another image, you can't give them. <laughs> hey, this life, no balance at all. Oh. The second BSC told her that I can never be the father. And they said she started crying. You know. KBC, how can you do this to me? How can you do this to me? Eh? You get a CBO. It's not, it's not good, though. This is unfair. Oh. Is it because it's not coming from Queen Naomi? Because I know that if it is coming from Queen Naomi now, you will announce it, you will celebrate it, you will jubilate over it, you will even go for shopping because of it. But since it is not coming from Queen Naomi, you are now saying you are not responsible. It is not fair, Okabe, so you are my husband, though. You are my husband, though. <laughs> my people wonder shall never end. Anyways, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.